Welcome back everyone to another Magazine Harvest episode. I'm so excited to be here today because I actually got my Garden Gun magazine, my first one in the mail today. I also got uh, the Washington Examiner, but my grandma already stole that one. So she has to read it first and then I'm gonna get it and go through it. But I thought for today, I have an hour before I have to go and be somewhere. So I thought we would take a look at the Garden and Gun and then if we have time, I have two uh, free magazines that I got at the Earth Origins Market when I went shopping. So I thought that would be a kind of a cool thing to go through because what is better than finding cool images from magazines? Finding cool images from magazines that are free and that you wouldn't think would have anything pretty good in it. Because, I don't know, the hunt of the magazine harvest is one of my favorite things. So this is Garden and Gun. We are at February, March, 2021. Oh, I got my, y'all didn't see nothing, nothing at all. I hope I'm in frame. Am I? Yep, okay. Let me zoom it in just a little bit so I can, you can see everything. But I'm so excited to be here. I hope the glare isn't bad. And I hope we find some cool shit. So this is my first Garden and Gun. Uh, I love the name, Garden and Gun. Ooh, I don't have my glasses. I need my glasses. Okay, Summer Classics, Life's Best Moments, Furnished. Ooh, how nice. Super fancy. Oh, Gosh, my dad would be having a fit over this boat. He loves boats. The Great Awaits. You and your crew on a mission down to Island Beach, packed with gill packed to the gills with gear, rods, and coolers of food. Not me. I stay on land. Except for in the bathtub. Ooh. What is that? Yucatan inspired boar pock chuck. Ooh. Feral pigs are hell on the environment, but can be heaven on the plate. From Cajun pork chops to whiskey sauced meatballs, here are five tempting reasons to put wild hog on the menu. Interesting. So anyone who doesn't really know what magazine harvesting is, basically you're gonna be over my shoulder, looking over my shoulder, Helping me pick out images for my collages or my uh, junk journal. And we take words that we like. We take pretty images. And we just try to have a good time. This is not a, a channel, YouTube channel, where I will be teaching you anything. It's more so a channel where we goof off and we have a great ooh that was a really nice cut like it was like it like fell out of the book it wanted to come home with me i like all these little images uh especially i'm a fan of windows i think that's nice um oh what is that it's like shrimp and some sausage okay the Great Awaits. Talk of the South. So I think Garden and Gun is a Southern magazine uh, because Garden, Gun, it makes sense. Ooh, she's very pretty and like, yes, that booty looking nice, but like I'm looking respectfully, but like she just has like a nice like demeanor. She looks like she's having fun. It's just, nice time oh this one did not come out as nice boo come to your senses <laughs> i guess you could say you should stimulate them ha 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 anyone who knows uh my previous um i don't know social media handles well no i went by the username stimulate your senses for a good i'm going on fucking 10 years now 
Mr. Jared Padalecki. Mr. Padalecki. My mom loved him. I would steal him. But guess who's on the back? Miss Julian Mother Freaking Baker. If you have not looked at Julian Baker's music, I would describe it as a acoustic sad girl Joji equivalent. So if you know Joji's sad boy hours, Julian Baker is sad girl hours, but with a little bit of mental illness, with a little bit of addiction, with a little bit of gayness wrapped into one. It's so good. Her songs make me cry and make me feel like I'm not alone. So are we taking Julian Baker? Hell the fuck we are. And a different pace, a different place. I like that. I don't like these. <laughs> ah, I don't like these. Okay, I'm not gonna. Am I even in frame? I am. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm gonna take a different pace, a different place. Don't, don't you dare. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna take that because I like nature arts and I like the idea that a different place and a different pace. So, and I like the font too. Like it's just, it's nice. It's a nice time. I'm gonna keep this from my color scraps and recycle everything else because recycling is the way. That is the way. Stop wondering, start wandering. Yes, I'll take it. I'll take it. Actually, might take all of that because that's what I want. I want it. I want. Oh my gosh! I screamed when I saw that I had these magazines. Uh, like that they arrived today because I did the whole recycle bank thing. Like I think it was two months ago, and uh, I spent like five hours. I got really, really. Uh, I got really stoned. I'm a medical marijuana patient in Florida, so I can say that. I just feel weird saying it on a YouTube video. But I got really stoned, and I spent five hours learning about recycling. So you can't even say that stoners are, you know, tearing the world apart, because what did I do? I learned about how to recycle, and I never knew how to recycle beforehand. I kind of just was like, I hope I'm doing it right, but did I learn? Yes, I did. And uh, these magazines, I'm so excited to get them. I like signed up for like 16 <laughs> different magazines. Like not even kidding, I'm so excited. I'm gonna be getting like 500. So if you like magazine harvesting episodes or you like this sort of stuff, please follow me if you want or just check out my playlist because I am absolutely in love with magazine harvest. I've watched every video that YouTube has every single video that youtube has i have uh watched because i love magazine harvesting i love seeing what people pick i've seen like three other people go, go through this magazine but i'm like just i'm so excited to do it myself you know i'm excited to oop, fuck to join in and uh i don't know maybe keep you all company the same way y'all have kept me company uh, and to be honest, I kind of recorded this video because there has not been a lot of magazine harvesting videos lately. Like the last one was like a week ago. See, this is how I'm obsessed I am. Like I know the last, <laughs> the last video was like a week ago and I've been like, I'm obsessed. I love it. I love collaging. I love magazine harvesting. I love thrill of the hunt. I love seeing a bunch of pictures all at once. Um, and seeing like, just seeing everyone's thoughts and ideas. Um, one thing about, ah, okay. Okay. Erg, this is annoying me now. One thing about me is I love, 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 love. Sunsets, sunrises, skies, anything. Um, I was reading this, sorry. 
When the time is right, the best views will be waiting for you. I love that. Children, mm, we're going we're gonna to recycle that. <laughs> we're going to recycle that. Cause no. <laughs> Not yet. I like. I don't know why, but I like this sort of pattern. I like that I can use it as a background. And uh, it's interesting. I don't know, it's eye catching. Ba -da -da. So, how are you all doing today? I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's getting psyched up for Valentine's Day if you celebrate and psyched up to get the clearance candy if you don't celebrate you know the clearance candy from the day after that's what I hit up because <sighs> love ain't on my agenda this year I don't think you know what is on my agenda magazine harvest this is this is my lover my lover is magazines so if you see me fawning over like attractive people, it's because <laughs> I'm lonely. It's 2021. We're on quarantine number 855. We got titties. We got art titties. Sorry. <laughs> it's true though. Do I want art titties? I think I do. I want art titties. You don't ever see Okay. That's kind of. <laughs> I sound like a creep right now. Like I want to see titties, but it's not that. It's just this like, it's artistic titties, and nonetheless, you don't see a lot of naked people in magazines, unless you, you're reading National Geographic, which I have 65 million of sitting, waiting for me to go through. So if you want to see me be really immature, <laughs> wait for those videos. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, the whole time. I'm gonna take that sunset. That does look like Florida. That looks like Florida. Where is this at? Northern front? What? I don't know. I don't know, but that looks like Florida. So I want it. Oh, I love the pop pops sibling rivalry the yin and yang of a pair of litter mates turned turns out to be just the right mix of crazy oh little boo boos the little boo boos do like this I do like this but I probably will only take oh shit that bit do the rest of it I was desperate to put my body in the Atlantic and talk to it praying it could carry my worries away on its way Damn, what a quote. What a quote. Oh my god, we got arches. I didn't even realize. We got arches. We got arches. Oh no. We got arches on the pretty picture. That is very intriguing. Man. But, <sighs> that is such a good. Alright. I wish that didn't do that. I wish it. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut out 
this bit because I have to have this picture. This picture is amazing. It's phenomenal. It looks like a person with who's anamorphing with a flower. Like remember those uh, children's books where like the kids would turn into those animals. I never read any of them. I just know of them and have seen them. But this looks like she's metamorphosizing. <laughs> She's going into the third evolution <laughs> uh and she's gonna turn into a tree and i love that so i'm keeping her arches be damned and it literally took out all the arches but you know what we got like <laughs> three arches over here we'll take it we'll take it and we'll go that's what life gives us life gave us these crappy ass lemons we'll take it They're worth it. Okay, and then I do not like to waste, so I will try to save all of these big scrap bits. I'll put them in my uh, color scraps, which is this little folder I have, color, that is filled, 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 filled with paper scraps that I use as backgrounds. Um, that I feel really bad for wasting that I'm like oh man I wish I could use that or oh man I don't want to throw that away because that's kind of pretty that's what I do with all those scraps like no I'm done I'm not here to teach I'm here to just talk shit um the I like to provide everything you need to survive mother nature will take care of us I like that quote but I love I like that quote and I like the sky. So could have ruled that, but I forgot. I think Mother Nature will take care of us. I think I'm gonna take that. trying to read what this word was I was like the pow <laughs> the pow pow um there's this viral post going around on twitter that was like oh you can't you know understand you know they as like a gender neutral you know pronoun then what the fuck is a peepaw <laughs> what the fuck is a paw paw peepaw and that's what this uh thing reminded me of pow pow because honestly, what what the hell is a pow pow? You calling someone a pow pow, but you can't use they them for a neutral pronoun? Okay. Sounds a little fishy, but okay. <laughs> um, garden and gun. Garden and gun. <laughs> oh my god, what was... man <laughs> when i got this magazine i had like i was watching this anime and oh, what was it this anime where this guy had like a gun and he was like i you want to eat the gun the gun anime assassination classroom that's <laughs> okay <laughs> back to <laughs> assassination classroom has this uh scene in it where this character is obsessed with a gun and is like obsessed with this gun and it just reminds me of like and it just reminded me when i saw this magazine i was like why who the hell made name garden and okay what are we gonna name guys what are we gonna name this magazine it's southern you know let's let's pick a cool name 
Oh, I got a name. Garden and gun. Let's have that gun. Like that sort of shit. Like it, same energy, honestly. Same energy. Ooh, what the? Okay, so I saw this here and I thought this was like a bag. Like one of those realistic food looking bags for like about 30 milliseconds. That is not a bag. It is not a bag. Oof. Oof, that looks nice. And oh my God, that looks so nice. Mm, I'm trying to become a vegetarian though. Eat more plant-based, do all that. Wish me luck because my favorite meal ever is uh, a sirloin steak with asparagus, broccoli, baked potato. And yeah, honestly. But still important to me. I'm gonna steal this because mwah, I steal art all the time. Mwah, I'm gonna steal this for backgrounds, backgrounds. Uh, this is all by a cache of paintings by the unsung Louisiana artist, Cora Kelly Ward. So that's the art we're stealing. If you want to look her up. Um, if you're not like the chair or the couch. No, only arts. Arts and farts. Cora Kelly Ward is a babe as well. Hashtag babe it. What do we got? She drove a Volkswagen Beetle. I knew I liked her. That's my favorite car. It's a car I've always wanted. Ever since I was a little girl, I was like, oh my God, I want a buggy. That's what I would call them, buggies. I want a buggy, I want a buggy. And anytime I told anyone I wanted the buggy, the first thing out of their mouth, and like this is to a seven year old, okay? It's like, oh, they get bad with gas mileage. Why are you going to tell that to a seven-year-old? Who's like, that's all I've heard growing up. Oh, their parts aren't, you can't change the parts easily or they're expensive. And it's like, okay, I understand when you're like 16, you know, you're like, oh, I'm getting my first car. I would love a buggy. That's the time to be like, yeah, but you know, maybe not. Not a seven-year-old. If a seven-year-old is talking about like what they want, you just smile and wave, boys, smile and wave. Accept them, support them. Because kids know what they want. Let them live. They don't care about mileage yet. Let them be a kid. Stop expecting them to be an adult from like seven years old. I'm gonna take this purely because I have absolutely nothing. Nothing for St. Patrick's Day. Nothing. Not that I do uh, holiday ones yet, but I kind of, I saw everyone's Christmas blue books. And oh my gosh, I want the Christmas blue book. Even though I'm like, I would have no use for the Christmas blue, 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 blue book because it's, I view glue books as being like the stuff I want to put on uh, my coffee table whenever I get a place. Like it's going to be my coffee table. Here, sit and wait and look at these, look at my glue book. <laughs> That's kind of what I want to use uh, my uh, Christmas glue book for. So during the Christmas season, oh, that's cute. Have that for people to look at. But I don't have a house, nor do I have people coming over to my house. So I think this upcoming year will be my first Christmas glue book. Hopefully by then things will have changed. I'll be doing some things, some new things. Okay. 
Dalon Dal Dalonga 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 Ooh, what is that? Is that a knife? Oh, my friend Britt would like that. My friend Britt loves uh, Swiss Army knives, like knives, and I guess stabbing people. Maybe they're a little serial killer. Shout out Britt if you're watching this. <laughs> Thinking of you. <laughs> See, that's also why I like going through magazines because it makes me it reminds me of my friends, like. It's so lonely quarantine time that um I don't know. I'm living in the past at the moment. It seems like I'm living in my head. So being able to be reminded of my friends is always good. Oh cute baby Cupid. <laughs> Working for the post office it seems. It looks like that's like the post office symbol. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I got the magazine today. I wasn't expecting it for like another month, honestly. So, uh, play ball. No, I know. Whoa. That's the kind of fridge I want. A fridge freezer. Is that just a fridge or is it a fridge freezer? I don't know, but I want something big like this. But anyway, I'm probably gonna keep this and go through it again because I've been talking and chatting and you know I miss hella stuffs when I'm talking and chatting. But I thought we could go through these quickly. How much time do we got? 26 minutes, I am on a roll. Okay, we'll do good health. So I picked these up for free at the Earth Origins Market, went there for the first time, and oh my goodness, everything there is so expensive! Oh my god! So expensive. So, ex eating healthy is so expensive, and not to mention, the people that have gluten, uh, gluten, uh, allergies or intolerances, my, my heart goes out to y'all and your wallets. Your wallets! How do you guys afford to eat? I can hardly afford my crappy ass, not organic, not gluten-free diet. And all the stuff that was over there, it was just like $12 for like a thing of flour, gluten-free flour. And I'm like, 12 for a tiny thing, like a tiny thing. And I'm, and these, like, I saw people there that had full carts and I was... I was a little starstruck, you know? Just a little bit. Um, power up your energy levels. So if you guys have any like other places that is really good for healthy foods or foods that, I don't know. I wanna get into more, I wouldn't say organic because I feel like organics way above my pay grade but like healthy fresh vegetables and fresh fruit i've been learning how to blanch and like freeze fresh vegetables which has been really nice uh because it's a lot cheaper to uh you know freeze stuff than to keep buying fresh because it keeps going bad and that was my issue my downfall is that I would buy all this stuff and like be attempt to make a change in my life and then two days later I'm depressed again and I don't feel like cooking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I don't feel like cooking. And then everything goes bad and then I get even more depressed because I'm wasting food and I hate wasting stuff. I hate it. So I try to uh, not get into that cycle. But then, uh, I would just like to be able to kind of find that healthy balance between eating fresh produce and not spending an arm and a leg. And I've heard that Aldi is really good in America. Uh, I would go over to Aldi 
all the time when I lived in England. So I expect it's going to be like the same thing. But when I was over in England, Audi was a lifesaver. Audi was so less expensive than Asda and Tesco's. Um, farm Foods was like right behind it. I used to work at Farm Foods, actually. <laughs> I used to work at Farm Foods. And uh, it really just taught me that it does depend where you buy your groceries from. How much shit's going to cost you. Cravable ca cassava brownies. That looks nice. Anyway, <laughs> a little tangent about expensive produce because my goodness, it was so expensive. I walked out of there with uh, just two boxes of frozen uh, vegetable patties and they, because they were on BOGO. <laughs> oh, you should only feel a tingle when you fall in love. Tinkly feet. Oh. Is this for like restless leg syndrome? Because I get that sometimes and that is annoying. So annoying. So as I was saying earlier, I kind of like going through these magazines, these free ones, because I like seeing... First, they're not magazines that you see very often on Magazine Harvests, but sometimes you'll be able to find, I don't know, cute little images. Like, we would have never found this little guy had we not looked at <laughs> this magazine. And uh, yeah, I think I pretty much got everything I wanted to use. I might look through it later though. Delicious living. So if you see anything I ha did not pull out, please yell at me in the comments. I talk a lot. Talk a lot. No. No. Follow your heart. The issue of delicious living is all about feeling the love, especially for your ticker. <laughs> My goodness. thinking about if I want that. I'll take it because if I don't use the snow heart, I could always put something on top of it and have it be really fun. Like, oh, they're holding. I'm gonna think of something and put it in the caption. <laughs> it's gonna be so funny, you guys. It's so funny, you're gonna laugh so hard and it's gonna be like, oh my God, Scar, how did you think of that? Late as hell, that's how. <laughs> Late as hell. I love uh, this because I have some art about pregnancy. I love greenery in greens. I feel like they're really easy to use as backgrounds. Do I want naked guy in the freezing water? No. No, I do not want. Just dance. Just dance. Just dance. Okay. Come on guys, pay attention. Gotta get through this magazine so I can. Oh God. We gotta get through this magazine quick. Come on, guys. The long shadow of COVID 19. <laughs> this is what COVID 19 looks like, ladies. <laughs> I don't know how I did not know COVID 19 did not. Like, how did I not know that she, COVID 19, did not wear this hat? COVID 19 definitely wears. Uh, this sort of hat. I did not. How did I not see this before? 
How? How? That's what she looks like. She'd be going up in your lungs, looking like this. <laughs> and then like moving the hat to the side, like tipping it. I gotta have her. My God. My God. Okay. Outfitting your immune army. You're going to war. War never changes. War. War not returned. Fall in love with food. You don't have to tell me twice. Yes. But actually, I'm doing these because... <laughs> hey, it looks like shrooms. Not that I've ever done shrooms. Uh, but it does look like them. Mixed with like those french fried onions you put on top of green bean casserole <laughs> uh, okay fall in love with food yes and then i'm also going to take this wood bit because i'll take that from my scraps supplements to love I actually have been looking into getting more vitamins and stuff Vitamin D, okay. Reality check, vitamin D deficiency is a real issue in America because vitamin D is found in so few foods. Our main source is sunshine. In winter or even in summer, if you can't get 20 minutes of daily sunshine, supplements are a must. Interesting. Medicinal mushrooms. Mm. That's gonna be the next whole big thing. Now we got medical marijuana. Now we're gonna get medicinal mushrooms. They say psychedelics really help with like PTSD and like people who suffer from mental illness. Like, I think it's like, um, like schizophrenia. Don't quote me on this. I know nothing. I just know vague things. <laughs> just vague. Uh, but I hope so. I hope people who can find relief can find relief because i saw like a bunch of videos of like uh when medical marijuana was like the hot issue you know a bunch of like people who had like seizures can get immediate relief from uh marijuana tinctures immediate like the amount of seizures that a person has off and on of tin like on and off of tinctures uh, it's like night and day they'll have like maybe like like 10 seizures a day and then if they take meta uh marijuana tinctures it goes down to like maybe one like look it up yourself like look it up i'm not lying about that this i know for sure because i've seen a lot of videos but i hope people are able to find you know something that helps them that much because could you imagine like People like have to go through that every single day and anything that people can find relief from, I think it should be, you know, if people, if it can help people, it needs to be looked at in our government, in our healthcare system. Instead of just pills, 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 because sometimes you can get a lot more relief naturally. Like my mom uh, had stage four lung cancer, mets to the bone. Uh, and she was also, before I was, she was a medical marijuana patient. And the amount of relief that she was able to get compared to like her chemo medicines and her chemo and her radiation and like all the pills like she was on <laughs> she was on so much medication and but like so much medication but weed helped her be able to eat it helped her be able to have an actual be actually hungry or crave things she got to the point where like her teeth started decaying and um it was a really, 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 really bad time in my life. And, and that's just having to witness someone you love being in so much pain. So much pain. So I have like this really big... Uh, it means a lot to me to see people be able to get relief. 
because living in pain changes you. It really does. It changes you. And if you have to live in pain every single day, like no, no relief, 10 seizures a day, it changes your whole outlook on life. It changes what you can do with your life. Like you got to plan everything around. Okay, what if I have a seizure? Or my mom, like, okay, what if I throw up? Okay, what if I can't go out and do things? Like it changes your whole perception on what you can do. It changes your self-esteem. And yes, people are going to abuse it, you know, but that's, you can't take it from the people who actually need it just because, oh, people are going to abuse the system. That does not, that's not how it works. <laughs> you can't do that to them. <laughs> can't do that to them. There's always going to be people who abuse the system. But okay <laughs> i went through three magazines i hope you all have enjoyed we went through good health lifestyles delicious living and garden and gun and i think oh next time i'm going to be doing a lot more um uh, national geographics and i have oh, so many more of those harbor harbor luxury ones so I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Bye guys.